Mark with Colin and thanks for joining. I don't like karaoke. Right, there I've said it. There I've said it. Uh, I don't like karaoke uh, and I apologise in advance to anybody out there who just lives for it. Um, but I don't like karaoke and I'll explain to you why. The reason I don't like karaoke is because, in my opinion, it is somebody trying to live somebody else's best life on stage. So it's somebody, some wannabe, trying to be Michael Bublé and he'll never be Michael Bublé or it's some wannabe trying to be Mariah Carey and she will never be Mariah Carey. Um, and by doing so, by spending those 15 minutes trying to be Michael Bublé or Mar Mar Mariah Carey or wh whomever it is, um, that's 15 minutes lost towards that individual becoming the very best version of themselves that they can be. In other words, 15 minutes lost whereby they could become uh, the original, the original of the species. OK, so karaoke for me is uh, a falsehood. Okay, now it's good fun and all that. I get, I get that. I'm not trying to take the entertainment value away from karaoke evenings. And of course, I have engaged in karaoke badly over the years. And I do play guitar. I'm I'm uh, I'm not a singer songwriter, but I do play guitar, and I'm, I'm I've been known to sing the odd song, right? And typically covers, always covers, in fact, because I've never written a song in my life. And um, but I don't try to be the artist whose cover I'm singing. If that makes sense, I am me singing a song that somebody else recorded. I don't try to be Michael Bublé. I don't try to be Mariah Carey. Hope you're getting the point. Anyway, the reason I wanted to talk about karaoke today was one difficulty I have at the moment that I'm seeing um, in social media is what I term karaoke coaching. Karaoke coaching. Now, this isn't coaches who teach people how to sing, ergo teach people how to become karaoke artists. That's not what this is about. Karaoke coaches are people out there who actually don't have any original thoughts themselves. All they're doing is taking somebody else's work and repackaging it and putting it back out there, repurposing it, not necessarily as their own, but simply repurposing it, right? Simply repeating what somebody else said. Now, let me qualify all of this by saying there's very little new information out there right there's very little new information out there however there's lots of information out there the best coaches that i'm aware of that i've come across are able to look and learn and listen to other people's work and then pull aspects from all sorts of places weird and wonderful places and combine them together in a unique way that becomes unique to that coach OK, so there's very little that's new out there, but the best coaches that I'm aware of, the best teachers that I'm aware of are people who can, you know, stand on the shoulders of giants, learn from the greats that have gone before, take something that somebody else has said, could be from ancient history, could be from last year, and connect the dots in a particular way that changes the fundamental message and speaks to the truth that is that particular coach. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm wishing for for you if you're in the coaching space at all okay um no more than there are no new ingredients out there so what sets one chef apart from another is how one chef will combine exactly the same ingredients exactly the same ingredients that everybody else has access to but one chef will combine them in a new way a completely unique way and it's magical and it's magical and that's what i wish for you if you're in the coaching space or if you know coaches, I'm wishing for you that your work is magical, that it brings you great joy and helps those around you. And will everybody follow you? No, they won't. Stop chasing after the, the, the big numbers of likes. That's all false. That will fall away in a second uh, if it has to. Right. But be true to yourself and be unique to yourself. Please, in 2023, if you are a coach, if you're in that space at all, please, I encourage you to just ask yourself, are you actually a karaoke coach? And if you are, I would ask that you try not to be. Try harder not to be. Look out there for all the new information. You don't, you don't have to think it all up. You don't have to figure it all out yourself. What you do absolutely have to do is look and learn and listen and watch and read and study and, and let it percolate. You know, here are Coffee with Colin, the perfect metaphor for percolation, right? Let it percolate within your brain. Give yourself time for it to percolate, connect the dots, 
bring the elements together in a new and unique way. And that is you adding value into the coaching world. Anyway, rant over. Listen, thanks for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. I hope and trust as ever you got something from it. Please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next week. And then very importantly, come back next week and we share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business that the dots will join, the, the, the percolation will happen during the week. I'll come back next week and I'll share with you some, uh, some new thoughts. Anyway, in the meantime, get some great coffee for sure. Get some fresh air, get some more and more. If you spend too much time alone, I recommend you go meet some people. And conversely, if you spend too much time with people, I really recommend you get out and uh, take some time out and spend time alone. And then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organized for the week ahead, get stuck in, make next week count, and I'll see you here this time next week for another copy of the call. Sláinte. I really love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.